We're getting married. What about Dad? Leo is on my side. <laughs> well, then why didn't he tell you about me and Marsha? Because he knew. And he never said a word to you. It's not often that I'm grateful for the fact that I've got no family. I want you to be protected. If Benjamin's intentions are good, he won't object. I'm starting to wonder whether this is just some way of getting back at Ted. Why today? Because of her. This has nothing to do with Julia! Everything's upside down. Our happy family. The one I remember. It doesn't exist anymore. Thank you. Mum. Dad. And it's all down to one person. Remove him. Remove the problem. <laughs> Can I help you? I hope so. I'm looking for Benjamin. Uh, sorry, and uh, you are? I'm his brother. What are the chances of getting a little sliver of cake before he gets back to them? <laughs> You're not having any. Meaning? Benjamin. Someone to see you. Kieran. Mum, this is uh, Benjamin's brother. Half. Oh. My, my half brother. Half whole is all the same thing. I'm sorry to just turn up. I could have sworn you told us that Benjamin was an only child, Mum. Oh, you must have it uh, confused. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Julia. Kieran, it's nice to meet you too. Mm. So, how you been? Is this your wife? Uh, not so much. Julia is my. We're, we're getting married. Oh, that's even nicer to meet you then. Congratulations. Thanks. Kieran, he's a bit late to the party, wouldn't you say, Benjamin? Well, we. We haven't seen each other in a while. Define a while? 17 years. Give or take. Well, that's. that's. that's biblical. What happened? Just... One of those things. That's a detailed explanation. Come on, why don't we, uh, get some privacy? Give us a chance to catch up. Give him a hug, then. Poor boats come all this way. I'm somewhere very far from Kent, by the sounds of things. We should sing. Uh, Della, do you help me light the candles? Are you seriously going to pretend that that didn't just happen? I'm not pretending anything. 
I have to be honest, Mum, I've never heard mention of this brother. Well, where would you have? You can barely bring yourself to exchange pleasantries with Benjamin. Either way, it's hardly the most attractive of qualities, not speaking to your brother for half your life. It's kind of... psychopathic. It's not always easy. Family. Delicately done. Why can't you just think first, engage your mouth second? The man is a liar. End of. So this is your solution, to leave? I'm done trying to tell Mum things she doesn't want to hear. I've got my own family to worry about. Oh, newsflash. We're your family too. Bro, and their words you won't recognize. Insufficient funds. I can't turn down a free lift home. Anyway, you don't want to spend your birthday night with your dry old siblings. Oh, no, you're right. I can't think of anything worse. Birthday, Leo Lyon. She rides well, doesn't she? She's a, uh, she's great. Oh, you haven't scratched it already. No, no, that, that was Patrick. So, along with lunch, you've also missed out on the latest absurdity with our resident toy boy. I'm thinking, you, me, birthday dinner at the Oak. I'll regale you the story. You keep my glass filled up. Everyone's happy. I, I think we've got him this time, Dad. I can't say it again. No more Benjamin. No more your mother. It's all... It's not good for me. There's still time to stop this wedding. We could... Be quiet, Leo. Remember whose house this is. Dinner. The two of us. Sounds great. Just not tonight. Sure, whenever. Just... Patrick's having an affair. Like father, like son, I guess. No, that's different. He wasn't just bald or randy like my shit of an older brother. He was lost. I mean, you work all your life and you give everything you have and then it's just like, boom, retirement. So all that doing the right thing comes to nothing. So when the wrong thing presents itself. Did you just describe my mother? as the wrong thing. Well, she produced you, which I consider one of her more redeeming features. But then she did split up my parents. You were both thoughtless, right? So, if it wasn't for the witchery of my mother, they'd still be together. Yep. And thriving. We'd all be. Well, you might be able to test your theory soon. Don't just say that then, go, Coy Roy, what do you mean? I mean, they're sleeping in separate beds. The kiss of death. So maybe there's a way. With a little helping hand. 
don't look at me. You do realise that if our rents weren't together, there'd be none of this icky, pseudo stepkids vibe. And we could, we could be more open. History has a funny way of repeating itself. The same mistakes made again and again. Ending up with me trapped in something I don't want to be in. With a man I can't trust. the oak. You told me that you were an only child. And you made me stand in front of them, in front of all of them, and lie. You didn't have to. You think my kids need any more excuse to go against us? No, no, look, look, I know that, I know that they don't. I know that they don't, and I... And, and I can explain, but, but first, you, you, you just have to believe I... It's the size of it that upsets me, because it's not a small thing, is it? It's not something that I could just... It's, he, he's... He's your family. He's your flesh and blood, and if you can lie about that, you can lie about anything. You have to understand... I've, I've spent my whole life trying to get away from... To him from from the the past. And when I came down to London, it meant that I could be who I wanted. I could say what I wanted. So I just I ended up telling people the easiest thing. That I'm an only child. And the more I said it, the more well, the more it stopped being a lie. And it just became normal. And, and so then I, I met you, and you were just so clever and, and, and cultured, and I just wanted to keep up. Right, so it's on me then. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. You, 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 you wouldn't understand. You, you couldn't. Uh, that level of, of shame, of just wanting to claw at your own skin until you just don't exist anymore. I didn't have a choice. Okay, I, 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 I did it to survive. And what does he want from you? Um, I, I think he wants to... I think he wants to show me that he's changed. <laughs> <laughs> and you? What do you want? I want you not, not to look at me like that. Like what? Like... Like I've broken something. I. I can fix this. I can fix it because I am not. I am not letting you go. Do you understand? I'm not letting you go because you are. You are. Everything. You are everything. everything. Then why risk it? <laughs> what were you so ashamed of? <laughs> Benjamin. Okay. Uh, breathe. <laughs> Is it?
So this evil plan of yours, how can I help? You keep your mum busy for the day. Shopping, manicures or whatever. Mind-numbing activities you girls enjoy. Now. <laughs> your understanding of the female species is second to none. <laughs> Leave the rest to me. I've um, been lying awake thinking about it. The wanting to start over, I do understand. Forgive. Why do you need to know that's it? There's nothing else. I think anything else would just destroy me. I want to get to know Kieran. Me too. Mm. I think we should ask him to stay here. You are too good for this world. You know that. He said he's not stopping there. He's got some work on back home. He'll be gone after the weekend. So let's ask him over. Yeah, you know, make him feel welcome. Everything will get cold. No, far away. God, I hardly know where to start. Yeah, another feeling. Um, this is a photo of the two of us from your bands. Don't trust the haircuts. You were blonde. Uh, blonde, blonde. Hmm. How many other things do I not know about you? I wonder. It was the day after his tenth birthday. You went dark overnight. I mean, the fuss he made, there were tears and everything. Do you have any other photos? Uh, not many, but yeah, back at the flat. Well, you're still. Yeah. I'm not giving it like a paint. Turned our room into a waits room. Sorry, you, uh, you went around to ask. You'd love to come and visit sometime. Oh, I'd love to see where you grew up. What was he like as a child? He was, um, he was always in his own head. Not like me, you know, I'll chat to anyone, but my little brother, he had these felt tips. And they went, I'm not kidding, they went everywhere with him. I'd be playing football, I'd look over, he'd be no more than six, writing stories about King Arthur and dragons and stuff I didn't know anything about. I knew then that he'd be somebody. They'd leave us behind. Rolling back the years over potted eggs. Is there any other way? I've got some for you and the Aga. Oh, no, you carry on. I just came to ask something. Mm -hmm. Could I steal my mother from you tomorrow? Well, you don't need to ask my permission. The top man, your brother. Should we hide the silver? 
<laughs> it's a joke, Mum. Remember that thing we used to do? You're very buoyant today. Well, I can't be excited to spend the day with my mother. <laughs> of course we can. I'm actually really pleased that you suggested that. I know that the last six months haven't been exactly... <sighs> really, it should have been me to make it right. Okay, I think we seriously need to manage your expectations over this day trip. It's not some luck spa. <laughs> we allow your old mum a little sentiment. It doesn't matter where we go, I'd be happy with corned beef sandwiches in the car, as long as it's us two. Becky Falls since we were kids. Was this your idea? No. No, this wasn't my idea. Did you hear anything I said the other day? I did, actually. Is there any reason that you're both avoiding each other? Avoiding the There's no avoiding going on, sir. Good. Then there's no reason that you both can't spend the day with me. Seriously slipping, so I don't give him a hand up. Hey, not that ancient. You'll be so stubborn. All right. Charge, instead of chunks of already browning apple. Are you denigrating my picnic skills? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> oh, I haven't had one of them in years. The biscuit of champions. Benjamin checking up on you, is he? Mum, Rocky Bar. Uh, he's not checking up on me. We just have a lot to sort with the wedding. Oh, of course, the big day gallop seven era. I haven't received my invite yet. I've taken to waiting by the post box. It's just a small affair. I mean, really, it's a, it's a party. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't think you'd want to come. Why's that? Surely someone's got to help me with this kind of goodness. In the spirit of playing happy families. Consider yourself invited. We should head back. We've got the meerkats at three. Obviously, I'll require a plus one for Marsha. This isn't the first wedding I've planned. Although, this one differs because this time I'm actually allowed to do what I want. You had the wedding you wanted. No, I had the wedding you wanted. Sorry, dictated, which, let's be honest, set the theme for everything that followed, didn't it? Um, please. Thank you, son. Told you it was on my side. I'm not on a side. Oh, so you didn't pick your father's side when you hid his affair from me? How'd you tell her? Because you wanted to hurt me. And guess what? It worked. Mum, this was a bad idea. Finally, we agreed on something. Okay, look, we can reset. I know we can. We just take a few minutes out, 
want them on the back and feed the meerkats. Enough with the bloody meerkats. You're not five years old anymore. I didn't want to see anything. I didn't want to know anything. Believe me, Mum. I... When I thought about telling you, I just couldn't hurt you like that. Dad swore he was going to fix things with you. Make it how it was. How it was? How was it? You were happy. You and Dad. And not in a grim, all over each other way, just... working quietly. Made me feel safe. Like... Our family was the one solid thing. But now... We've been ripped apart. And it's all his fault. Whatever you think went wrong, Leo, it went wrong long before Benjamin. Mum and Dad, they loved each other, didn't they? Uh, ease me into the conversation, why don't you? <laughs> but they did, I know they did, didn't they? Why don't you call Patrick? He loves a deep and meaningful. Oh, I'm not calling Patrick, I'm calling you. Ooh, okay, it's just now's not a good time. Say hello to my baby brother, everyone. I'm not your baby brother. Oh, it's a term of affection, numbnuts, and also, I'm afraid, factually correct. What's up with you? Nothing's up, no, nothing. I took mum and dad to Becky Falls today. Why the fuck would you do that? What do you mean? We used to have fun there. By fun, do you mean that it literally rained every time we went? Dad kicking off about how expensive the cream teas were so we'd end up driving back hungry. One of us in tears. Usually you. Actually, always you. Why do you always do this, you and Patrick? Make out like it wasn't the way it was? No, you're quite right. We all held hands at Becky Falls, made daisy chains and skipped through the woods singing Kumba... Both of them. Don't sweat it, I was born stealthy. How did it go? Let me skip the talking. can watch a movie. I don't want to watch a movie. I want to have sex. That is what young people do, you know. Not some boring middle-aged couple with our cocoa and some boring subtitle. <laughs> We're not even a couple. Why are you being so cruel? Ah, what can I say? It comes naturally. Uh, 
I was helping Callie with her job application. Your specialist subject? <clears throat> I'm just gonna bounce. Well, before you do, I'm sure you'll be wanting to see your father. Edward! Don't you think you've caused enough trouble today? I guess all being well, you, you'll be my step uncle. Why are you fine with it? Him being with her, are you seriously saying the age gap doesn't bother you? I'm just happy that he's happy, however that looks. F fucking weird, that's how it looks. I mean, there's your brother. Some kind of poster boy. And then there's her. I mean, she's hardly in the shape of her life. It's a nice way to talk about your mum. You look like you're having a big one. It's called having a drink. Do you not have any mates? I'm sorry. It's my bad. Let me get a drink. Say again, please, love. You're gonna tell me that? Why you really stopped speaking to Benjamin and why you're so different from the accent to everything? Different dads, different schools, different mates. And a 17 year big freeze? I did some shitty things. Things that you should never do to family. I lied, <laughs> stole. Great stop we're marrying into. No, no, that's me, that's not my brother. Oh, because he's such an outstanding guy. And you've hidden away like some dirty secret. You know, I would forgive him almost anything. Because he's blood. And at the end, that's all we have. Can you not tell my mum about this? Call Chinese. <clears throat> A can of coke. You'll be sweet tomorrow. Sounds grim. And remember, don't let me little brother get you down. He's not a bad guy. Hey. Hey, another piece of advice, which you can choose to completely ignore. Don't make the same mistakes I did. When I was your age, all I seem to do is prove people right about us. Good night.
should say Leo and Kieran's company because we're going to be partners. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what do we do about a festival season? What don't we do would be the better question. I'm actually quite impressed. Like impressed like well done or impressed like I'll invest? It's not a matter of trust. I just wonder whether it wouldn't be better for you to earn the startup capital yourself and then your enthusiasm won't wane. It won't. I'm serious about this. Like you were serious about Surf School, the bike rental app, your poetry okay. nights. Okay, you're ridiculing me. Don't ridicule me. I'm not, darling. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying. You were going to say yes earlier. I know you were. And now, miraculously, you've changed your mind. You spoke to Benjamin, didn't you? Of course I did. He's my fiancé. And he told you not to help me? Because he wants all your money for himself? Because he can see that by continuing to enable you, I am doing you more harm than good. Are you seriously taking his word over mine? Don't make this about Benjamin. Everything's about Benjamin! Everything's been about Benjamin since the day you met! I'm sorry. I can't help you. All of my mates! All of them moved straight into London after uni, into flats, into having proper lives, but I came back for you. You came back because it suited you, which is what you always do. Ah, oh, right. Right, right. Right, so you pretend to move out so I give you what you want. It's very mature. I'm not pretending. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Where are you even going to go? Where I'm wanted. Dads. Anywhere but there. Please. What, what do you care? You made it quite clear that you only need one thing. Benjamin. Benjamin's worth it. Benjamin shouldn't have to call us. 
I don't like being told about my own mother by someone else. But we're here now. Look, you want Leo to move back, I assume. Which won't be easy, the way he is about Dad. And as if he knew about that night. We need this. If he gets. knew, he'd come back. It's time, Mum. Time you stopped lying to him. I've never lied. I've just not said. And in the not saying, you spare pain, protect. What's wrong with that? So much, Mum. All this silence, this denial, it's a mind fuck. Not just for Leo, who doesn't understand why things are the way they are, but for me. For us. Don't speak for me. Or what, you're really going to play the well-adjusted card? Uh... Fine. Well, it's just me, then. Turning it all over again and again, thinking... Maybe it was a dream, or maybe I got it wrong and I didn't see my dad beat the shit out of my mum and then try to kill himself. There. I said it. We didn't all combust. I thought... I thought you didn't remember. You wanted us not to. There's a difference. Della, is he... do you? No, having this conversation, of course she remembers. We were there together. No! You went to get Mum. Left me on my own with... With him, and I didn't. I didn't do anything. I didn't help. I just watched him. Darling, you were only eight. Conversation had now. Can I please be allowed to stand the fuck up? Del. You never said that. How many times, Mama, have I beat her with not a biscuit? I thought that I was doing the right thing by not talking about it, and it was meant to keep you safe. <laughs> I didn't tell you all this so that you can feel bad. I told you so that it can be different for Leo. I can't, I can't do that to him. His father is his whole world. He's not a child anymore, none of us are. We'll go and speak to him, but if we could tell him Then Dad wins again.
Leo, he, uh, he wasn't in the listening mood. You tried. Does he know how much he's upsetting her? Yes, we equipped him with the facts. Some of the facts. All he had to say for himself was, he thinks you're exerting undue influence over our mother's finances. He thinks. Fine, I think. We think you're marrying our mother for her money. Well. There it is. Out in the open. Don't say we didn't warn you. Is everyone's family like this? So I'm told. It's hard to believe, isn't it? You deserve to be happy, Mum. Set with me, are you? For interfering, calling Patrick and Della. It was nice. Showed you cared. Well, you must never, ever, ever doubt that I care. That's insanity. Are we okay? We better be. I thought that organizing a dinner this close to the big day was a kind of madness, but maybe we can call this a new start. And if not quite that, I hope at least a chance to practice being civil to one another before we're all on public display. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Patrick. Cheers. Cheers. Are you sure we shouldn't wait for Leah? You need the time. You know how important this was to you. Us. His loss. Oh, the gloves are on your You're shoulder. Right I know, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Lovable idiot. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> your glass is empty, my love, which is entirely like unacceptable. <laughs> You're keeping me pickled to get me down the aisle. <laughs> I'm onto you, Mr. Green. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Patrick, would you mind grabbing us another bottle? They're just in the garage, I think. Well, we can't be low on champagne, not with everything we have to celebrate. Thanks, mate. I'm sorry, but he's not a good man. There are so many things that... I will say this one last time, Patrick. Do not make me choose. Sorry to just pitch up, we, uh... It's just amazing you're here. I thought you were headed home. 
were going to say I couldn't stay okay, away. Sit down. So have you guys eaten? No. Do you want some misoko? Yeah, that would be great. Thanks. Yeah. Please. Be right back. You. No problem. I like that. It was a good laugh. Yeah, me too. Hey, bro, listen. I've got some really good news, and I wanted to tell you in person. Tell me what? That Leo's dad's agreed to back his venture, which means I got Michelle a job. A job where? Uh, here, of course. I hoped it would give us a chance to properly get to know each other again. Doing. I want us to elope. Imagine it. Just us. We, we can have the wedding the way that we want it. And then we can go, we can hole up in your villa, and, and we can try, we can, we can get back to the way that things were when we, when we first met. This is odd behaviour. Well, I prefer impulsive. Our wedding is in two days, Benjamin. Two days. Everything's ready. All of the money's been spent. I thought, I thought you didn't care about the money. That's not what this is about. This is about Kieran coming back. No, it's not. There's it... something that you're not saying, and I'm not an idiot. Despite the fact that everyone seems to treat me like one. OK. OK, I, I sat around that table tonight, and I thought... I thought, who here is actually happy for us? And I... I I have kept hoping that, that, that by the time that we got married, that there would be... that things would change, that there would be, other, if not love for us, me, that there would be... I don't know, at least... goodwill. But there's just... there's just not. So... you and me... Hmm? What do you say? I'd say it sounds a lot like running away. Being serious? I'm afraid so. Separate beds for bride and groom the night before or else. Terrible things will befall us. We're not supposed to speak before the wedding. Right. Tell him that. Ugh. And tell him that I'm there with you. OK, but you're not. Then lie, Della. I'm sure that's not beyond you. What? What's going on, Mum? 
Something's going on, I know it is. You don't know a Benjamin Green, do you? He used to live across the road on the Chathurst estate. Benjamin Green? No, I can't say I do. And I like to think I know most folks around here. Do you know Kieran Marshall, his brother? Oh, Kieran? Oh, hi. Everyone knows Kieran, but his brother's called Sean. Look, uh, uh, this is Benjamin. Well, bugger me. Who is it, you? Um, I'm marrying him tomorrow. After what he did? is forever. It's being able to say what's mine is yours and what's yours is mine. If you tell me, man, I swear I will kill you. It's us. It's always been us.